Hi, I'm Brett. Today we've got another video update on the SST transmission in the Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art, which is also one of the transmissions used in the Evo 10 as an alternative to the five-speed manual transmission. And beside me you can see the transmission with all of its assembly pulled apart, the internal filter, the clusters, the diff hemisphere and everything else. And what we've done is we've pulled the top housing off so we can access the magnets. And what we're going to talk about today is an alternative to replacing the magnets um, which in the past we have a lot of success with gluing them but you may be in a situation where you don't have a reliable jig to locate the magnets that commonly come loose or fall off and then fall down inside the transmission or you may be looking for other alternatives. Now one of the things to keep in mind is some models do have problems over a period of time depending on the type of glue you use. Mitsubishi did actually change the glue in the later model transmissions but still that has manifested itself into a continuing problem which means the glue that they changed to didn't solve the problem with the magnet falling off the shift fork. Now what ultimately happens is the magnet either comes loose or falls off and then it causes a fault code in the transmission and the transmission starts skipping gears and the only way to repair it is to pull the whole transmission apart. So from a preventative maintenance point of view, whenever we do transmission repairs, this is something that we recommend or you may just have the fault and you want to fix it anyway. So we've pulled the cluster shaft which normally sits down in here out so I can show you what it looks like. And this is the gear selector um, bork ring assembly that moves the cluster um, to engage the different gears which is operated electronically. And this is the, the magnet that normally sits on the shaft um, on the selector mechanism which then falls off. Now this magnet um, is a proximity sensor assembly which when engaged against the mechatronic unit confirms to the transmission control unit that it has moved in its right gear. So these little magnets in here are critical for the transmission to operate correctly so it knows what gear it's in. So here's what the mechanical broken part and here is the replacement part which now is an aftermarket part which fits straight over the selector fork and then it's got grub screws that locate in place. And the good thing about it is mechanically connects that assembly to the steel mechanism without any glue. And it is very, very tight fit and it is also critically the way it's fitted. So it's a really good alternative. The, the downside is you've got to buy this as opposed to uh, re-gluing this part, but this may be something that you want to consider. And this is one of the options that we would recommend as one of those things to improve the reliability of your transmission in your particular car. So there you have it, another tip and trick to help you look after the transmission in your Mitsubishi, of course, here we are in Sydney, we do a lot of transmission repairs on these models. Um, if you're in Australia, we do uh, receive the transmissions in and out. We do repairs here to ship them back to you locally. But of course, if you're overseas, hopefully this information has helped you from a self-diagnosis point of view as well. You can contact us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you check out mrtperformance.com.au for other helps, tips and trips, tricks. And if you're looking for tuning solutions, go to mrttuned. .com.au. But make a comment here on this channel, make sure you subscribe and share the video. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, but for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.